this is Christy V. And this is Matthew Dean with the Musician Network. And we're here with the Hazy Janes all the way from Scotland. They are a uh, self-described guitar pop band, but uh, I think uh, we'll find a little bit m more broad than that. And we're still here hanging at South by Southwest. Uh, now, uh, why don't you guys introduce yourselves and uh, tell us what you do for the band. Hi, I'm Liam. I play the drums and sing. Hi, I'm Alice. I sing and play guitars and keyboards and provide hair. Uh, I'm Andrew and I sing and play guitar. Hi, I'm Matthew. I play the bass. Describe your sound to me and uh, some of your influences collectively as a band. Uh, I guess loosely it's kind of guitar pop with elements of country, folk and um, uh, kind of heavier kind of rock, maybe like power pop type stuff. Lounge rock. <laughs> Lounge rock. I don't know, roughly, roughly it's kind of that. We kind of cover everything, I think, between the four of us. Um, you know, everything from kind of hip hop to, to folk or whatever. And some of the, the bands we really like are uh, bands like The Big Star, um, Velvet Crush, Fairport Convention. The Birds. The Birds. The Beatles. The Beatles. It's got to be The Beatles. Yeah. Uh, anything that's kind of guitar and catchy. What What is the music scene like where you guys are at right now? Um, you know, kind of describe for us because that's one of the things that we found is most interesting at South by Southwest. We've, you know, gotten to talk to bands from all over. And just in your hometown and where you guys are at right now, what is the music scene like? Yeah, it's quite, it's, it's always been kind of vibrant in Dundee. It's just that we're quite far out, you know. We're up in the northeast, we're kind of away from the, the sort of main scene in Glasgow and stuff like that, but it's always been a great town for like music and art and theatre and everything, you know. It's pretty vibrant on all artistic fronts. But um, at the moment, it's quite, it's getting quite, uh, they've started to notice things a bit more recently. So, yeah, things are on the up, I'd say, as far as being noticed is concerned, anyway. Yeah. I think as well, I mean, my fun memories of like done the music scene is kind of like and when it was in its prime it's kind of like the small little dark sort of bars filled the brim with you know uh, you know listeners and just kind of like lots of kind of underground type bands playing it's kind of it's always been pretty good for that kind of thing uh, now do, is there any other bands uh, from your area that are here right now um, did you guys come out with anybody not from Dundee we're, we're the only band from Dundee ever to play South by Southwest so far um, yeah, last year we were, no one from Dundee had ever been here, so we were quite proud last year to be representing Dundee. And again this year, we're, we're still the only Dundee bands here. I mean, there's a lot of bands here from Glasgow and Aberdeen and you know, various other places in Scotland, but we're the only Dundonians here. <laughs> it's exciting. <laughs> What's your, your road like to South by Southwest? How did you guys, um, I guess, I mean, the festival has become international, so everybody's hearing about it, but what, uh, what got you here? What was sort of the step uh, that, that brought you all the way to Austin? We released a record, our first record, the mini-album, um, and that kind of got us in to play last year. So we applied again with our full-length record, Hotel Radio, which came out last year, and we were accepted very quickly this time. Um, so as far as I'm aware... Oh, they dropped the hat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's true. I hope that we made a good impression last year and maybe that's why we were accepted. Are you going to be touring around a bit while you're in the States? Up in New York, we played a couple of shows there and uh, we've done some recording as well. And that was kind of, you know, that was kind of the whole, the whole kind of plan to come down here afterwards and then, and then we're off, off back home. We, we kind of like started our, our new record in New York. Yeah. Uh, we, we like recorded half of it there, so it's going to be, uh, it's going to be finished later on. Uh, so you go yeah. home and like rob a bank or something to get the money to finish the record. <laughs> That's the hardest part, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is the bank robbing to get the money <laughs> to fund the record. <laughs> now, uh, in regards to your live show, how do you guys um, approach the live sets? Uh, and, and how have you been since you've been out here? If you already have, you, you know, your pre-recorded albums and everything, do you, do you strictly go with the way the albums are? Do you let some sort of free form and improv and a little bit of spontaneity come into the the live sets. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I mean, regarding recording, we all have an idea of how we want a song to sound. We go and record it, and there's always a little bit of room for like studio improvisation, you know, to kind of let something sort of like grow a little bit kind of organically in the studio. But generally, like three quarters of it, will be we'll know exactly what we want, and we'll sort of experiment with different sounds and stuff like that. And there's a lot of room for like you know spontaneity and stuff. And regarding the the live show, it's like. Some songs we do, we play them quite true to the recorded version. Other other ones we, we kind of, you know, we sort of uh, I would say if give anything, up. Like the vocals are quite 
they, they, they become like more important in the live show. Yeah. Because it's kind of easy to sing in a studio, you know, and it's like, mm -hmm. I think that kind of shows that we can sing and stuff when we play live, you know. So. Yeah. Because you guys have, I guess, like you mentioned, some pretty lush harmonies, and does everybody take uh, an active role in the singing? Um, well, we all sing except Matthew. Matthew can sing, he just doesn't. He just chooses not to. <laughs> and he talk also. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, when we kind of all got together, you know, the three of us are, you know, are singers. It wasn't like, you know, we had a singer and two backing singers. We're all singers, so I think that's why, why it became so important. Because we all just enjoy singing so much. And working out the harmonies can be... Honestly, that's my favourite kind of music. When you've got one, two, three-part harmonies, it's just... It's beautiful, so I think that's really exciting. And I find it interesting that you're saying, you know, when you're in the studio, it's easy to sing, but then you get live, and that's what's so funny is that, you know, for most people, they freeze up in the studio. Mm -hmm. And that's really interesting that you guys kind of take that approach of, like, what is your approach when you guys are in the studio? Are you just too completely free? Just get drunk. <laughs> oh, we'll see, that'll do it. <laughs> we do like a studio sounding record, you know, but we also want to capture as much of the liveness as well. So yeah. it's like get the life in it. Yeah, I think we're, we'll get there eventually, but we're, we're learning with every record, you know. It's quite, it's good yeah. fun, you know. It's, it's good to learn, and we, we love being in the studio and being on stage, so it's great. Hi, we're the Hazy Janes, and you're watching The Musician Network.